So thank you um, for uh, watching this little um, video about how we've made this music video for uh, this band Silence Within. Um, and you're going to follow me through the day as we go through the highs, the lows, the goods, the bads, and uh, just kind of see how we did it. It should be a lot of fun. So just to put what we're doing into context, we've already done one evening shooting with the band or on stage at a venue in Brighton. It all looked terrific, very, very exciting, lots of lights and smoke and crowds. The problem with it is that we were so far away, the camera couldn't get very, very good close-ups of the band, so we don't really see their faces enough. And part of the agenda of something like this is to actually launch the band, is to get them seen. Um, the other thing we decided to do was to weave a little bit of story into it. Being a narrative filmmaker, kind of by boot, I decided that we needed to somehow shoehorn the Terminator into it. <clears throat> and better than the Terminator, a female Terminator. So we've got a Terminatrix in uh, this video. And the idea is that she's driving across America and she's coming to this gig. She's uh, basically locking in on her target. But what is she trying to achieve? And that's the whole idea of the video. So we've hired ourselves a, um, a six foot two model who looks absolutely amazing and here she is. Hi there. So, um, so we're shooting all this extra stuff um, to go into the rest of the video to make a complete video and later on in, in this uh, little uh, video thing I'm going to take you into the edit suite you'll meet Simon who's editing it and we'll kind of show you how it's all coming together. The thing about making a film is it's all hurry up and wait. Yeah. It's like literally you're ready to go, but don't do anything. Oh, yeah. So we're going to film the close-ups of you guys one by one this afternoon. Yeah. Then we're going to get the model in, we're going to do some shots with her. Then we're going to get the crowd in, we're going to do the whole crowd scene. And then we're going to finish off with the model again outside, doing some stuff outside. Cool. So we've got a micro crew doing this. We've got Simon and James who are working on production, who are out working on production as, as you normally do. This is Steve here. He's the, the DP, but he's also now set design. Well, um, set design, it's going. As, as it happens. And up here in, in the gallery, we've got Aya. Hello. And behind the camera is Sylvie, who's filming. Hello, Sylvie. <laughs> One of the inevitabilities is that it's like trying to push an elephant up a hill, trying to get everybody focused in the same place at the same time. Props have been forgotten, all sorts of things have been forgotten, but we're very close to filming. We just, the lamp's just blown, so Steve is just fixing the lamp. And um, as usual, there's a lot of kind of heightened tension on set, but in a good way, it kind of keeps everyone sharp. I'm Saeed, I'm a guitarist in the band. Just like that. I'm Josh, I'm the lead singer. I'm, uh... Just waiting to rock out, really. Yeah, yeah. I've not really done any filming before, so. Well, I'm just gonna watch Can we hang off these? <laughs> so, we've got somebody maybe driving this back. She's smugged up your hair. Have you? Have you? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah? Steve, ready? Okay, <laughs> then, guys, come on, finish here. Roll camera. Yeah. And way back. So we've, we've done two band members, we've done uh, drums and bass guitar and um, it takes a lot of energy to get it right and um, uh, part of the thing is, is just uh, keeping everybody's energy high and uh, letting go and having some fun and uh, so you kind of have to be pretty present to kind of get all that um, out of the performers so as we keep going we'll get more and more and more and we'll do the lead singer last because he's the one who's got to give the most. And by that point, all inhibitions will have gone and we'll all just be having a ball. So, onwards. What's really important is that uh, when we're shooting, we've got uh, playback on, on this monitor. And the idea is I can just double check everything that's being shot and make sure that Chris is getting all the coverage that he needs.
favoured and playback at the moment which means I get to play, uh, play on this iPod every now and then. When playback gets shouted, I start the music that they're miming to. And then I pause it when they're finished. It's all about cool. That's all it is. Yo, it's all about the cool. Are you cool? We're slipping behind, so we've got to keep it going. <coughs> Everyone ready? Steve ready? Play back. Ready? Play. Okay guys, we're going to have a mini wrap now. Um, Sweet thank you very much chaps for your Thanks work so and uh, we'll be back here in an hour. Yeah. So in the story of the film there's a Terminatrix who's come into the gig and so we're filming with this back back screen projection here with the actress in the car and what is a balancing act now of getting the lighting to match the background without putting any lighting onto the screen so it kills it so it's a bit of a balancing act and of course this thing always takes long um, and you know we're running late and we've got actresses kind of waiting around so it's all very stressful right okay hey okay guys good you can shoot you, we'll, we'll, well done. Oh, what we're gonna there's two setups basically here we're gonna do one shot during the day and then one shot during the night uh -huh. It's supposed to look a bit Kill Bill, mm -hmm. um, so it's this kind of rear projection. I am playing the part of some sort of Terminator-esque uh, person who's apparently looking for the lead singer, and no one really knows if uh, at the end, is she going to kiss him, is she going to kill him? Got to watch him, won't Okay guys, two minute warning everyone, can we just clear the set? Quiet! Thank you. Action. Bounce. 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 And cut. Five of us, five of you guys and me and Simon, we'll all stand at the front and we'll jump higher and more energetically than anyone. Oh, I'm just, Is that what we do? That's what, yeah. that's what you're going to have to do. We're getting fired up. Yeah. It's oh, exciting, isn't it? <laughs> guys, come on in. Just stand in the centre. Where do you want to Yeah, show your bags. Find a little corner or something. We're going to have to do things once or twice or three times. Everything about making a film is slow. You'll be amazed at how long it takes to do just one thing. But be patient with us. We'll get through it as very, very fast as we can. Steve here at the back is the cameraman. His job is to make you all look beautiful. So we're always very happy to wait for Steve if he needs two minutes. Um, what it is, is you guys are the crazy mental crowd at the concert held by these guys. A, a success about to happen called Silence Within. Um, and we've we spent the whole day going absolutely crazy with these guys on stage. Um, we're utterly exhausted, but we're going to stand here at the front and we're going to give as much as you guys can give. So just take your lead from us. We'll go crazy. You go crazy. Let's all have some fun. Put your hands up in the air. Enjoy it. It's going to be great. There you go. Let's go. Roll cameras.
we've got our lead actor and lead actress, or Terminator and uh, lead singer. They've got to do the first kiss now, <clears throat> but they've got to do it in a crowd of 100 people, so it's a bit stressful. So it takes a bit of careful coordination to make sure everybody's happy. And then you'll lean into it, all right? And you guys just dance up, just carry on either side, all right? Let me see. It's fine. It's fine. It's just beery. It's fine. Remember, we got to get. All right. Got a story. Can't be that I'm glad I had those four beers. A bit of Dutch courage. Yeah, this is our first video, um, which is really exciting. Everyone, the crowd's been amazing. Everyone came up and, and gave it their all, which is sweet. Um, and it's, it's been a really cool day, to be honest. Well, it's been a fantastic day. I've got so much editing to do, and it's been a really tiring day, and I've been shouting as well. So I'm pretty tired too. That is a wrap. Yay. Yay. Well done. Well done. That's well a wrap, done, everybody. Everyone. Well done. Yay. Here we got it. We're exhausted. It's, it's well. It's actually quite early. It's yeah, quarter past ten. Well done, well done. And uh, yeah, <laughs> now we're just going to go clear the stage. <laughs> it's yeah, never good. over. We've wrapped the shoot, and uh, James, one of the assistant editors, has digitised it into the Avid, which is over here. Simon is uh, going to start editing now. The great challenge is going to be, well, there's several challenges. First of all, is to take the original footage from the, uh, from the gig that was filmed and integrate that in, and also work through the hours and hours and hours of material that we've shot. We've got maybe three or four hours to take down to just three and a half minutes. Um, and we've got to do it very quickly because we've got a deadline to get it out for the boys. So, um, over to Simon. Well, because we shot uh, so much material, the thing that I always like to start with is to sync everything up. So you lay down the music track first and then you put in every single shot uh, that we did. So what you end up with, is, I've actually got 19 tracks of the whole song. So that's the guitarist shots, the drummers, the bass player and the lead singer. And then I go through every single track and I actually take out all the stuff we don't need. Editing's about just getting rid of the rubbish, really. So, and then what we're left with is, um, as you can see from the timeline here, um, lots of little clips and, and uh, uh, individual shots. And each shot is, is a different part of, uh, the best bits of what we've got. So then it's a case of just selecting which bits we use. And then it's a case of just pulling in uh, the other material from the gig and deciding which, which shots of those we're going to use. And then um, we've got uh, a little story going on, so I've also built the whole thing around that. But it's syncing up, for me, is the hardest part. So, um, during the edit, one of the things that we can do to make it look even uh, more attractive is we can add some special effects and some, it's called plugins, uh, which both Final Cut Pro and Avid use, and one of the ones we've used a lot of is, is kind of like Wobbly Cam, that's very popular, and the really, really great one is the Super Shake like that, which is a lot of fun. Um, and that really hides a myriad of sins. And we're using lens flares and extreme color grades and all of that stuff we hope is gonna create this very, very overwhelming, very energetic, very loud and vibrant experience for the viewer. Now we've got a final cut, uh, even though it's not the very, very, very final cut, it's not graded, not got special effects, that kind of stuff. Um, we have to make a DVD to show the boys tonight, and this is probably the best part of the whole process for all of us, because for filmmakers, for storytellers, it's all about putting a movie in front of an audience, and okay, this audience has the most vested of interest, they're actually in it, but I think they're gonna enjoy it, so let's see what they think. Guess who I'm friends with on Facebook? Hey. Hey. Hang on, so am I! <laughs> So how are you feeling, guys? Good. Yeah, excited. 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 Yeah. What What are we doing here? We're watching our video. Excited. Are you nervous? Yeah. Not nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. Let's play it. Yeah. 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 So now you can watch the video. Something.
Fading, I fear for everyone 